Hi everybody, Chef Sean here. You are watching Monster Sports and Entertainment. Here's the entertainment part. We are cooking stuff we have already in our pantry. So it's not rocket science. Um, pantry stuff is going to happen. And uh, we're doing an easy pantry tuna um, pasta. Simple enough. Well, Madison will show you what's going on here. We have these low and slow. Caramelizing some onions. Nice brown on them. Look at that. Doesn't it smell wonderful in here? Oh, That's yeah. been going for at least 45 minutes, people, on really, really low. I just turned up the heat again a bit. I have pasta on the go already. This is how quick this recipe is going to be. We've got pasta cooked in here. Simple. It's based, uh, this recipe I based after alio alio, which is uh, garlic olive, olive oil, basically. That's olive oil, uh, about four tablespoons of olive oil, uh, four tablespoons of butter, melted. Cook up a whole onion, or as li little as much as you want. Onion makes a big difference in this. It's a little upgrade in, in the basic uh, garlic olive oil sauce, basically. And we're just pantry stuff, right? Because we're we're dealing with what we got around here. Because uh, we know times are the way they are. And I'll leave it at that. All right. Over here, as much garlic as you want. Uh, salt, pepper. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Which is uh, anchovies. Um, fermented. That's the only brand I'd ever buy. Leah, Perrin, Leah Perrin's. Two cups of chicken stock. A little bit of white wine just to give it a little little something. And I'm gonna slice this up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna toast the I'm gonna toast the garlic. Slice it up as little as much as you want. We're doing about five, six cloves of garlic. The thinner the better. We get our toast on with it. Not, not, we want lightly brown, not burnt and black. That's it. We're, we're bring it over here. We got, a we got a teaspoon of butter for later mm -hmm. as we finish sauces. Post that up. Boom. And turn the heat three quarters of the way. Oh my, you can smell it already. Oh yeah. Isn't that good already? Mm -hmm. Doesn't take long. My pasta. Quick, easy pantry stuff. Um, like I said, I really don't want to discuss discuss what's going on. Uh, look up the date if you watch this in the future. <laughs> um, just dealing with what we got in, in our fridges and in our pantries. And this is a quick, easy, simple dinner solution. A little upgrade from the traditional plain olive oil, garlic, pasta, and parm. A little upgrade. Oh, getting toasty. Keep toasting up brown. Nice brown, people. Guys, you need to smell it, and it smells terrific in here. And now I'm going to hit it with a third of a cup of white wine. There's salt and pepper already happening in there. you got to be careful with the salt. It's going to be glazing. Be glazing and scraping the food particles at the bottom of the pan. Because that's going to add to our sauce, right? Oh, look at that nice brown on the garlic. Oh, smells wonderful. I'm going to Worcestershire sauce, about six tablespoons. Two cups of chicken stock. Goes into play. Crank up the heat. Use canned, use whatever you got. Like I said, we're just dealing with what we got, right? I'm just using powdered stuff that's been uh, re dissolved in some warm water. And then we're going to go in. going to crank the heat now. Watch that. Pe pepper. Two different kinds of pepper. I use, always use the ground and the cracked if you see me cook here any time before. I'm going to go about eight tablespoons of Worcestershire. Just gives it so much flavor, you have no idea. I'm going to add my tuna right at the end because it's already cooked. We're just heating it through quickly. So basically, the eight, nine minutes by the time our pasta is cooked, um, the sauce will be good to go. It was that simple, like seriously. Was that simple or what? Mm-hmm. Pasta's getting all mm. nice and got to make it al dente, firm to the tooth. Yes. Progress, people. That oh. smells so good. I just got a whiff of it. It does, eh? Especially with the Loft it. Worcestershire. Oh. oh. 
That Worcestershire makes a difference, though. Oh, yeah. A little bit. If you want more, you add more. If you want more chicken stock or want it more saucy, you do you. I'll never know. I'm going to boil it down about halfway, and hopefully my pasta should be done around the same time. Getting there. What are some of your favorite pastas? Tell the peeps. Me? Oh, just the classics. No, no, the, the people in the chat. Oh. No, are you? Oh. Uh. And I guess I guess you will be watching this in the chat later. So yeah. tell me, you guys watching? Um. <laughs> just the good old spaghetti and meatballs. Good old bolognese, the marinara sauce. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Oh, so marinara sauce. So tomato sauce. With the meatballs. With the meatballs. I like how the best part about that my that sauce that you just mentioned. I love how the marinara flavors the meatball, and the meatballs flavor the marinara. Yeah. After like three hours of nice simmer. Oh yeah. Guys, getting hungry talking about food here. Go figure. Came to the right place. So was that simple enough? Yes. Like, it doesn't get any easier. And like I said, we pre-browned the onions before you seen us add the garlic. That was at least 45 minutes on super low, stirring it every 10 minutes. We wanted them nice and brown, but that's that's our sauce. Like, we're gonna add Parmesan cheese at the end. It's that simple. Seriously. So, what other pasta sauces do you like? Um, I like the one that you made that one time. Oh, I gotta make a vodka cream sauce one time for you guys. Yes. Vodka cream sauce coming up, guys. The one where it was just like you used the pasta water in the sauce. Oh, with, with the eggs. With the eggs? With the egg yolks. Yeah. So traditional carbonara. Mm -hmm. And the parm. Yeah. Yeah, the eggs and the parm whipped together and then... Yeah, I made traditional carbonara once. Before. Close. Definitely firm through the tube. Another minute, another minute of that, reducing. Like I said, two cups of chicken stock, white wine, our uh, toasted garlic, our caramelized onions, some I'm missing, salt, pepper, butter, olive oil. This is going on. Simple, easy, plain food, but so, so delicious. So, so good. You don't have to get fancy to eat good. As I've proven here 10 million other times, right? <laughs> don't have to get fancy. Sometimes the most simple basic things are the best in life and I truly mean that, so lucky for us. Yeah, a vodka cream sauce I gotta do on here. Putanesca, the sausage uh, caper olive one. Yes. There's lots of different pastas I got coming for you guys eventually. And uh, the, um, thanks for tuning in. What's it called? Smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Yes. The sauerkraut one? We did that one on... Or I did, I did it when we weren't around. Oh, yes. When you were away. So I'm shutting that off now. And as you've seen me do before, tricks to make your pasta sauce shiny and give it a little... Uh, it gives it a slight thickness, it doesn't do nothing major, but you shut off the heat. You shut off the heat, let that melt in. I'll be right back. It's good enough for me, good enough for you. Mm -hmm. It's going to be firmed into the tube. I'm saving some of the pasta water, not much. Like, I'm literally saving like four tablespoons of pasta water because it helps the sauce, it helps um, Helps if you save a little bit of the pasta water, four tablespoons. It helps the sauce stick to the the starch. Helps the stick to the noodle. Going in. Boom. That simple. That easy, guys. Oh my God, it smells wonderful. I'm gonna go in with a little parm cheese. It'll slightly thicken it up. Give it that nutty, cheesy. Delicious flavor. If I had time, which I really don't at this point, I'm gonna let, I would let it sit for four or five minutes before I served it. 
because it would thicken a bit more. I don't, homie, don't have time for that, so don't be doing it. Not gonna make you guys wait for that. Last but not least, boom, canned tuna. One can, two can, however many you want to do. Do you? And it, that's gonna just heat naturally with the sauce because it's already cooked, right? We don't want to cook, recook what's been cooked because it'll just destroy the tuna. We want chunks of tuna. You know what I mean? There we go. Look at that. It's like a fancy uh, tuna helper or uh, tuna casserole, but upgraded to about 10 different levels, right? <laughs> With the white wine. Oh my God, smell that. It smells so good. Let's sit for a minute. I guess it's like that. <laughs> gonna do this. That guys. Ooh. Oh my god. Delicioso. There we go. Now we're gonna go in with a little bit of the sauce. We're gonna switch, let her taste it. See, that's a wonderful, flavorful sauce. Pour that on top. Oh my God, guys. So excited. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of this. Little grated parm. I'm gonna hit it with a little shredded parm. Give me one second, wash my, wash my hand quick. Screw up her phone. Oh, let me take down my hood for this one. Let's go on one more time. Get in there. Too hot. Oh, let me get some onion in there. Tuna. Hopefully, you got some tuna. Oh, yeah, I got some tuna in there. Can we give her a second? Really yeah, well, wait, wait a second. Let's not burn yourself on camera. <laughs> So this is my plate. Um, <laughs> that, that's her plate. And I get this is that. mine. And this could be yours. So I guess we, <laughs> guess we got a winner. There you go, guys. Take care. Wow. Peace. Peace.